Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we take a look at the best Easter eggs found in video games. In today's video, we head out on the open road in American Truck Simulator. We discover a noise you're going to be hearing a lot in 2020 in the Resident Evil 2 remake. We discover a familiar sight in A Plague Tale Innocence, plus many, many more Easter eggs. As always, if you think you know of an Easter egg I'm yet to cover, or just want to see what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis, then the best place to do so is on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. The links to all three can be found in the description. Oh, and I don't usually do this, but if you enjoy this series, then a like would be massively appreciated. I usually save the begging for likes part until the end of the video. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at a game that I've only just recently played, A Plague Tale Innocence. One of my 2020 resolutions is to complete more games. The amount of games I start, play for a few hours and then forget about is crazy. A Plague Tale was the first game of this new era and honestly it might just be one of my top 5 games of 2019. The story is gripping from start to finish, the gameplay is tight and tense and the graphics are absolutely jaw dropping. I really can't recommend it enough. Not only is A Plague Tale a phenomenal game, it also has a couple of interesting things to discover. The first of which is this familiar find located in chapter 5. So a sword in a bonfire. This seems to be the go-to easter egg for developers these days, having featured in loads of games over the past few years. The next easter egg in A Plague Tale can be found in Chapter 6, and is quite precious. Let's see... this... this... not bad at all. What are you doing? This is not the time. I'm making your rescue profit. So for those that don't know, this ring bears a striking resemblance to the One Ring from Lord of the Rings. Quite what it's doing here is anyone's guess. Up next is a game that I never thought I'd play, and that's American Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator, or ATS for short, is exactly what you think it is. A game that puts you in the shoes of a truck driver in the USA. For a game based on the rather mundane task of driving from A to B, and that with all due respect, ATS has some pretty awesome easter eggs to find. The first of which is this. So between San Diego and Los Angeles, you can spot a towboat pulling a giant rubber duck around. Funnily enough, this isn't the strangest discovery in this game. In fact, this next location could be stranger. Just north of Las Vegas, you can find a scene that I cannot even begin to explain. So I feel like I've said this a lot recently, but I have no idea what is going on here. We have a standoff between two groups of people and a man dancing on a roof. It's just downright bizarre, and if by some miracle any of you have a theory of your own regarding this confusing scenario, then please let me know in the comments. I will take turns in pinning the most creative suggestions. Up next is a reference to a film that's been referenced more than once in video games before. Between Barstow and Bakersville on Route 58, you can find this. So this rather ominous looking house looks like nothing special. Well, when the sun sets, things get a lot creepier. So at night time, a creepy silhouette appears in the window of the building. Now what if I was to tell you that this location is actually a motel? Would you be able to guess which classic film this location was referencing? Well done to those that guessed that this was a reference to Bates Motel from the Alfred Hitchcock movie Psycho. Speaking of creepy, this next easter egg is found in a graveyard, and I'm not sure it gets any more creepy than a graveyard. Actually scratch that, nothing is more creepy than a graveyard at night. So if you head to the graveyard at Tucson, you will find a man floating over the graves whilst a light orbits his body. As alluded to earlier, this only happens at night. I do wonder if some of the easter eggs found in ATS are based on stories of urban legends originating from the locations they can be found, which would be cool, but I wasn't able to confirm this. The final discovery in ATS can be found just north of Winnemucca, and I don't know about you guys, but if I saw this person hitching for a ride, I'd definitely stop to pick him up. So 
So I'm actually pretty certain I'm only scratching the surface of the Easter eggs in American Truck Simulator, so if you know any more that I should take a look at, let me know. Right, time to move on from a life on the road to a life in a zombie infested city. Now I'm not sure I'd class that as a promotion. Capcom recently released a new demo for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Titled the Resident Evil 2 RPD demo, it once again sees you dumped into Raccoon City after things have gone south. And I mean way south, as in the city is infested with the living dead and a giant grey man in a fedora is hunting you down kind of south. Anyway, this demo has a secret tucked away that got me very excited for April 2020. Take a listen. So that sound was the nemesis from Resident Evil 3 growling his iconic line from the original game. A Resident Evil 3 remake was recently announced and is due to be released in April 2020, so prepare to hear that sound a lot this year. Next up is a game that is full of references and easter eggs. Borderlands 3 is probably one of the best games I played last year and as mentioned was packed full of easter eggs and secrets. I mean nearly every legendary gun contains a reference to something, it's a nightmare trying to keep track of them all. Still, it's not all weapons with funny taglines and memorable movie quotes. In the recently released DLC for Borderlands 3, Moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot, you can find this. <laughs> So this spinny thing, and yes, that is the scientific name for it, is actually a reference to the spinning space station from the 2014 Christopher Nolan film, Interstellar. So from one game full of easter eggs to another, I've already featured some pretty awesome easter eggs from Gears 5, but I'm happy to report there are still more to come. In a recent update, the ability to play as Lizzie Carmine was added to the game. If you aren't familiar with Lizzie and her brand of action, take a look at this. Control, need backup! Anyway, when playing as Lizzie, if you die and respawn, there's a chance she will say this. Oh my god, they killed Carmine! So that was obviously a reference to South Park and this iconic line. Look, there's a rare duck-billed platypus! It's coming right for us! Oh my god, they killed Kenny! The next Gears 5 easter egg took a lot more work to capture. I'd like to thank Garbit, Swift of Thunder and Knight Subset 1487 from my Discord server for helping with this easter egg. I'm sure it'd have been done a lot quicker if I didn't keep forgetting to turn the damn bots off. Anyway, on the exhibit map you can spot a giant Brumac statue. If you shoot these seven plates that are hidden on the map, and be warned some are pretty difficult to find, you'll hear a roar. <laughs> Oh, and if I remember, I will put a link to the full guide in the description. If I don't, then shout at me in the comments. After you've shot the plates, you'll need to have two friends stand at advertising boards on each side of the map. Ideally, you would then want three people aiming at the teddies hidden around the Brumac statue, but we managed it with two. The picture on the advertising boards will change, and your friends will need to tell you which plushies to shoot. Bear in mind, you do have a time limit here, but if done correctly, this will happen. The first time that we actually got this to work, I didn't think it worked and I pressed the pause button meaning I didn't actually capture the easter egg, so yep, I was pretty popular on Discord that day. So let's end today's video with a bang. I've already expressed my disappointment in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, so I'm not going to go over it again. What I will say is that Ubisoft have at least acknowledged their misstep with this entry in the series and are planning a major overhaul of the game and its mechanics. I'd say that calls for a celebration, wouldn't you?
So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you know of any Easter eggs that I may have missed, then please let me know in the comments or on my social media accounts, and I'll be sure to thank you in a video. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.